been born Dealing with the world of trouble on my mind I had a Hi, this is Rosina from Rock Talk. I'm just really fortunate to be here with uh, Chug Boat in the studio. How are you guys doing? Great, Pretty thanks good. for joining us. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for inviting us over. So what's going on with the Chug Boat these days? Well, we got a, a lot of new stuff going on. Um, we have a pretty much a completely revamped and updated sound since we uh, saw you guys last, I think. And um, been releasing some new songs. We have a new album coming out, new shows. A lot of really cool stuff going on that uh, I want to share with you guys. A new single that's out right now on right. Spotify and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yeah. You guys just had that release party, too, the single release party at 710. Yeah. How was that? It was packed. It was great. Well great received. vibe from the crowd. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Went well. Someone even someone even brought some like little toy instruments and spread them <laughs> around the crowd. Yeah, there were like tambourines and maracas and maybe a cowbell or two. Mm -hmm. Some guy went on stage and chugged two beers at the same time <laughs> <laughs> twice. <laughs> He'll forever be known as Red Shirt Guy because yeah, that's, that's all we shirt. know about him. It's that he had a red shirt on. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, doing that. Um, that was kind of the the first single we released um, at that show. It's called High Welcome. It's kind of like a, an upbeat sort of disco kind of ska or ska almost influence. There's a lot of horns. Mm -hmm. um, but that's kind of it's a, it's more representative of the new style we're going for. It's kind of a funkier, like soul influenced upbeat, dancey sort of genre that's kind of a result of all of our experiences and interests. Right, yeah, I listened to it a couple times. It's definitely, you've, your sound has definitely evolved, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think I think part of it is we felt uh, a personal desire to kind of step up our game a little bit and, and be a little more true to our, our backgrounds and interests in general, and that's kind of where it took us, I would say, so... That's uh, sort of what spawned the new sound, that new single, I think. We felt that that was like a very approachable song in a number of different ways. And right. so that's kind of the reason we wanted to release that one first. Mm -hmm. And then are you um, going to be like doing some videos to go with this? The, your singles? Absolutely. Yeah. So where we are right now, uh, this is the video studio that I manage. Mm -hmm. And we're building a stage and a bunch of other sets. Um, so Chug Boat will definitely be doing <laughs> some videos here. Oh, awesome. We uh, are working on some some shots, some B-roll shots for a music video for the single High Welcome that we released a couple weeks ago, too. So that'll be coming out at some point. Some point soon. You know. <laughs> yeah, not called B-roll, but we did it. We shot a, a music video at his house, at Lucas's house. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> a bunch of people singing karaoke. To High Welcome. In yeah. costumes, even. In costumes, yeah. yeah. So it should be a really fun one. Um, I haven't seen the footage yet. People were getting a little drunk, a little wild and crazy during the shoot. It was great. It was perfect. Like a true real to karaoke boat, bar. True the Chug Boat style, right? Yeah. yeah. I guess so. Yeah. 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 Party music, party band. Right? It was kind of cool, too, because um, a lot of the people that we invited over to uh, be in the video are people we've met through the band. You know, people from shows who've expressed an interest or, you know, even friends of ours that preceded us forming the group at all. Yeah. So it was like a... It was fun to have that collection of people that we've met over the last year or so get together and like really just put it all on the line. I mean, so, some people, we didn't know what was going to happen when they got in front of the camera and they just owned it. It was really an amazing thing to see happen. So. That's cool, huh? Some great performances <laughs> from like non-performers. Really authentic. <laughs> non-musicians, yeah. non-performers, but great performances. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. And then I noticed that you guys are going to be up in um, Mammoth Lake. Yeah, how'd, yeah. How'd you, how'd you, uh, what's that all about? So, yeah, there's a um, a bar uh, venue up there called 53 Kitchen. I'm pretty sure it's 53 uh, Kitchen, and they're just... It's Studio 53. Studio 53, some people One, call it. <laughs> um, but uh, I think that there's just an interest in them getting groups from, out, you know, other parts of California to go up there. And it's also, I, I assume it's the off-season. I mean, it's a, a ski and snowboard destination, right. so... Mm -hmm. I think they're just trying to uh, bring more events up there in general. Right. That sort of thing. And uh, So we're doing a full weekend up there, a uh, couple nights, and then right. we'll probably tour in and out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, hit some spots along the way up and down. Yeah, we've got uh, that that weekend booked, another weekend in NorCal booked in October, and like that's just kind of the 
kind of the, the thought at this point is we're planning on using those as just anchor points for some mini tours. Yeah. Get around a little bit while we're out of town already. And how about the writing? How's that going? Everybody kind of taking part now? I think it's definitely everyone taking part and um, a lot of a lot of the best moments of the new songs came from the group being in the room together being like, oh, you know, we need something like this to happen here and like what happened next was just a very organic writing moment and those are the moments that I feel like people at the shows are really really uh, connecting with is those those types of uh, musical ideas that came from those places of like true spontaneous collaboration which is really nice too Isn't that so. kind of cool the way it just translates to that moment when you're on stage it just kind of yeah, yeah it comes yeah, out yeah, you know yeah, yeah totally. it's kind of amazing it's funny because um you know i have to tell you i listen to a lot of punk rock and I listen to a lot of um you know different types of music then lately everything's just been so like socially and politically charged and just heavy and then I was listening to your stuff in preparation for this and it's just like I wasn't even sad anymore <laughs> I wasn't even into my emo moment anymore they were gone you know I was like oh we're just trying to make good. friends that's, and that's have a good all time. really good yeah. <laughs> I need to listen to this stuff more <laughs> yeah I yeah I think that's Dang. That's always kind of been like a, uh, I don't know, a goal of the group, I think, is to not, you know, well, to do all sorts of stuff, but not to to dismiss upbeat and positive music for that reason alone. I mean, I think that that, that has a place in, in our society and that people, all sorts sure. of people can hook into something that's, you know, upbeat and uplifting and positive in that way. And I mean, you know, music is so broad. Why why dismiss one one aspect of it just because of the way it is, you know? Right. So, yeah, definitely. And you know, a lot of the newer music that's coming out doesn't really isn't really in that realm. A lot of it's you know kind of uh, it has more themes of sadness and loss and that type of stuff. And we have songs like that, but this latest single is very like has a positive message behind it. I think you know, yeah, it's it really a love does. song. So. Yeah. Yeah, for and sure. It's all about the groove, I mean, regardless of your political affiliation. I mean, you just want a groove, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what it's all about, to be honest. Yeah. You feel the groove, throw back a beer, and enjoy yourself. Right. Yeah. I guess a lot of bands, once they get to a certain point, they're really kind of strategic about kind of getting out there and gaining more, um, gaining more um, listeners and that kind of thing. Spotify is big. I mean, are you guys even tuned into that? Are you even caring about that or just making music i think there's uh some consideration put into those things i mean uh, one of the reasons we wanted to come talk to you guys is is to help spread the word about what we're doing and what we've been what we've been releasing music wise um definitely putting more attention towards that than we have in the past the the latest album that we're going to be putting out at the end of the summer um we approached it in a way of, of you know a, a more professional way we, we spent time doing pre-production and recorded all of these demos and reviewed them uh to try and identify places we could improve the final recording whereas in the past we sort of just had played the song live together a number of times and showed up at the studio with no real plan other than we're going to be playing this song you know what i mean that's a huge shift that's so. a huge shift and I think it really shows, the results really show that we've put more thought into the recording process itself, in my opinion, you know? Mm -hmm. And then Brandon is the, is the new kid on the block. <laughs> how, how are things going? And Yeah, it's, it's almost a year. Things are going great. Yeah. Uh, I was filling in with them before I joined the band full time. Mm -hmm. So I had known them for years and I played with Lucas before. Onward and Upward. Yeah. You yeah. loving it? Yeah. I mean, I'm the drummer and I, I'm playing groovy danceable music so that's right. where i want to be what could be bad right yeah, yeah. good I, I think like the new sound also benefits from having i mean these two guys are just such a solid rhythm section in general the bass player and the drummer and like it really i mean it makes this style of music good having a, a rhythm section like these guys so a lot of a lot of the cool stuff we've been working on is thanks to to this vibe that they're able to create together, you know? Right, yeah, for and sure. Honestly, I don't think we could have played another bluegrass song. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so like, yeah, we were on the edge. <laughs> it was getting rough. Uh, I'm from Virginia, like where that music came from, but and, and I'm not. I didn't, move so. here to, I didn't move here to play that kind of music. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely in the waning stages, right? Yeah, it was <laughs> time to Isn't move on. Isn't it funny how time things just change? You just change, huh? 
Yeah. Yep, absolutely. And uh, I mean, I think part of that was yeah, just kind of evaluating the what what people around this local scene were listening to and were interested in. I think there is sort of like. There are a number of groups doing that sort of like whatever alternative folk style, but mm-hmm. it's just not, I don't really feel like it's that big here, you know, maybe in other parts of the country, but I think that was also part of it. Aside from just being, uh, being true to the styles that we kind of uh, had always liked in general. And I think it, uh, the, the current style attracts more, um, musicians too, I would say. I mean, a lot, uh, part of what we've been doing, it's at least a handful of our recent shows, is we've been inviting some guest stars to join us from other bands and mm-hmm. uh, just from, from around town in general, people who play solo and with other groups. And um, I think that the style is helping make that a reality. It's cool to have a show and be like, and tonight's guest star is so-and-so from whatever band that you might not oh, already okay. know of, you know? Yeah, so a guest star that actually gets on stage with you and yeah. uh, performs so, a couple of your songs? Absolutely, right. yeah. The whole, yeah, the whole, the whole set. Yeah. Oh, oh, the whole set. Mm-hmm. So we have mm-hmm. oh, saxophone wow. players, a flute player. That's kind of um, interesting. Guitarists. Guitar players, yeah. Yeah. Guitar players, yeah. Mm-hmm. All sorts, and, and it's cool. It keeps the... I mean, we have, like, a few people that come to, like, all of our shows just because they're the super fans, I mm-hmm. guess, but it keeps the show refreshing for everyone, including them and us, you know? Uh, right. We have, like, these, you know... I don't want to say wild card, <laughs> wild cards. That makes it sound bad, but uh, but just uh, uh, you know a unique element to to some of the shows and in, in yeah, these guest exactly. appearances. So. It makes like each night, even if we're playing kind of the same set, it makes each night interesting because so and so is going to do a different kind of solo yeah. than the other person. Would, mm-hmm. so. Oh, good. And so, are you just? Um, I don't know. Thinking about who you want to. Did you? Do you guys just think about who you want? as a special guest ahead of time and then just call these people up or yeah it's, yeah. it's we have some guest it, stars for the it, recordings yeah um so we've played a couple shows with each of those guitar players but um we've added two other guitar players i think since yeah three three, three yeah. yeah three um another saxophone uh flute um yeah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, I, I anticipate the list growing even more as time goes on, too. I mean, depending on who the player is, sometimes we'll just meet up and play. Um, other times we'll have, you know, a little rehearsal with them, kind of get on the same page right. a little bit. And uh-huh. then, yeah, I mean, it works out there either, either way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's either nothing in the living room or in a <laughs> practice room yeah. 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 <laughs> with, with everybody. Nice. Nice. That sounds very, very fun. Yeah. Totally. Is there anything else you guys want to, uh... We've got, um, you know, I got another, uh, single that we're going to be putting out in about two weeks from today. It's July 22nd. We're playing, uh, a Tim Piles produced show at the Casbah. Oh. With, mm-hmm. uh, a local band called Bomb Squad and a really talented group of guys. Kind of like a soul live sort of arrangement. And then a, uh, a more of like a disco style band electronic elements in there too called slayers they're from tj they're headlining that show so nice. uh a couple of local guys including us are going to be opening up the night we're going to be promoting a new song that's going to be coming out on or around that day and this is all in uh in preparation for the release of our our next record which is going to be out at the end of the summer on on all digital streaming channels and otherwise awesome, so. awesome. good we can't wait to hear it yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks all right. Um, Chugbo, thank you so much. Thank it's you. It's been great chatting with you and catching up. It's been too long. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Hopefully the next one will be, uh, you know, shorter distance from today. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, everyone. All right, thanks. The battle to keep me company I was only trying to get by